Hey everybody, welcome back to Linux for Everyone and welcome home. In today's video, I want to show you how to power up your Linux gaming experience using a great little tool called ProtonUp. By now, you've probably heard something about Proton, a compatibility layer built into Steam that makes Windows-only games playable on Linux. Valve and Codeweavers, the people behind Wine, are responsible for this wizardry that makes Linux gaming surprisingly awesome. If you do spend a lot of time gaming on Linux, maybe you've also heard about Proton GE, or you've seen YouTube videos referencing some guy called Glorious Egg Roll. <laughs> Well, Glorious Eggroll is also known as Thomas Kreider, an engineer at Red Hat. But what the heck is Proton GE, and why would you even want it? Vega gave us the perfect, concise definition in our Linux for Everyone Discord. He said, Proton GE is like a bleeding edge, rolling release of Proton. Many of the edits are merged into Valve's official Proton later. I, I always advocate for users having a great out-of-the-box experience, but if you want the newest games to work as soon as humanly possible, perhaps with slightly better performance, you will love using Proton GE. And here's why. Here, here's just a tiny example. One of the latest Proton GE releases happened about six days ago, and among other things, it improved the Final Fantasy XIV launcher, it patched a GTA V save bug, it fixed the launcher for Swords of Legends Online, and it added AMD's Fidelity FX Super Resolution, also known as FSR, to most games in the Steam library. If uh, you want a deeper dive into Proton GE for a future video, I'm happy to tackle that request for you. But for now, let me show you how to install and use something called Proton Up, a simple but excellent tool that installs and updates Proton GE for you. By the way, the developer, his name is Nasif, and he does pretty much all of the thumbnails for our videos here. And he told me if he hits 5,000 downloads for this, then he'll consider developing a GUI version. So get this thing installed. Anyway, here's how to do it. Number one, head over to ProtonUp's GitHub page, which I'll have linked in the description, right next to that awesome Linux for Everyone merch store. His instructions are pretty straightforward, but I'm gonna walk you through it real quick just to kind of give you a visual of how it's done. Now let's fire up your terminal and type pip3 install ProtonUp. Now pip is the Python package manager. If you run that command, but you get an error like this, then just follow your package manager's procedure for installing pip. Since I'm on a Debian-based system, that will be sudo apt install python3-pip. After that, pip3 install protonup should do the trick quick and easy, but you might have to use sudo in front of that. Another method is installing protonup directly from the source. You can use the git clone command to carry that out and <laughs> As I was doing this, I realized I don't have git installed, so let's tackle that. And now, python3 setup.py install. Okay, now we're good to go. Next, we want to set the installation directory where Proton GE will be installed by Proton Up. So again, you can just copy and paste this from the GitHub, but here is how to do that. And don't worry, that, that directory will get created automatically, so you don't have to dig into your Steam folders and create it yourself. And finally, well, just use ProtonUp. Just run ProtonUp from the command line to install the latest version of Proton GE, and run it again whenever you want to update Proton GE. When you restart Steam and browse to your settings, and then select the Steam Play tab, you can set the version of Proton that you'll use globally for all of your games. But you can also configure it on a per game basis by right clicking the game title or the game thumbnail, choosing properties, and then clicking the compatibility tab. You could stop watching the video here, but I wanna share some analytics with you that tell me only, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> you don't have to subscribe. Um, you could stop watching here, but I want to share some extra options that will come in handy, especially since each recent release of Proton GE is about 1.5 gigabytes. That can very quickly start eating up space on your drive. 
So, to get a list of Proton GE releases you already have installed, just type ProtonUp-L. I've got a fairly old version here, so let's clear that out by typing Proton-R for remove, and then the version that I want to delete. If you want to get a list of all available Proton GE releases, you can do that too. Check out the GitHub page for other ways to interact with ProtonUp, and if you like this tool, consider giving the gift of your star. I'm hoping that when he sees the thousands of downloads that result from this video, he'll think about creating a GUI version with an auto-updater, which would really, really make my day. And hey, if you have feedback or feature requests for ProtonUp, let us know in the comments. He's reading the comments and so am I. That's all I've got for you today, everybody. If you enjoyed this app spotlight, give the video a like and check out our ongoing Will It Linux gaming series to find some great new games that run like a dream on Linux, thanks to Proton. We'll talk again soon. Until next time, you all take care and take care of each other. See ya.